Mega Box here. So, Market Monday. Will we learn such words and how to implicate them as investment, contribution, asset, money, expenditure, transaction? If you want to know more, stay tuned after a word from today's sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your magic. And coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Now back. Hey, how's it going? I closed my file. What's the date today? The 30th. Middle of my file, accidentally. Uh, anyways, on this Market Monday, we got stuff after that lame intro. Uh, all around the game to, to talk about. We're going to rehash some of the things, and maybe uh, we'll rehash that after we get through some new stuff. So, the Legends are new to the game. And, like, you're, you're wondering, oh, I've definitely heard a lot about Legends. You talk about the good things to do with them, buy on the weekend when they're in packs, snipe them, sell during the week. And you know what? Me saying that again reiterates the importance to them. Because when people pull packs, they make bad decisions and sell these cards at a cheap rate. Okay? So, let's just filter it quick. I also want to talk about the uh, boss legends, which uh, look like solid stuff. But anyways, selling these things probably around 29k right now. But when they're coming out, you can easily get these things like the low 20 when people 20s when people are doing them. Do the same thing, 85s, low 80s, all the stuff. It, it works, right? I don't. I, I've talked about this last week, I think, uh, to prep you guys for it. So I'm not gonna go too much into it, but that's basically it. Make sure and snipe. Use your coins up over the weekend. I was too drunk Saturday to do anything, so I didn't do any investment this weekend in them. But the biggest thing you should have looked at, and we've talked about this before in the channel, is when you look at these cards, you know, they got the regular set legends, and, and these cards are only plus ones off of their limited time legends down here, right? They're only plus one. They're not that big of a deal. For on the field performance, you're not going to see a whole lot of difference unless, you know, one hits like a threshold, but then you can always power up and get that level, yada, yada, yada. But you're looking at Zonka here, like 397, 412. That's kind of where we're selling at, 412. We got Sap around 430-ish. Um, next one's at 459. But these guys were selling low 300s over the weekend, right? You could have bought some, hold off, and then sold today at a bit of a profit, right? You could have banked 30, 40K selling today. Maybe they'll go up, you know, tomorrow, so on and so forth. You don't want to hang out too long. And then, you know, basically the market's like, eh, I no longer feel like these cards were any good. And they go back down in price. And, you know, that happens, right? When the big market crash, these things are, aren't necessarily that uh I, I guess isolated from it because they're limited they are a little bit but not extraordinarily amount so not a bad idea if you have that kind of coin and you want to grab them to grab those limiteds around you know 300k i do believe they quick sell if we take a look at that wow that is that is so easy to read ea let me let me let me show you how easy this is I can kind of see that. Isn't this why they added more space of blankness on the card so that way we can read their text better? Dog, what? Dog, like what? Like this is like what's all this space for? What's this for, dude? Freaking EA. <laughs> why do they scrunch it all in one line? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let me close this. Let me close this. Let me close this. Moving on from that. This is Market Monday, not criticize EA Monday. Although we like doing that too. So there it is. That's these things, right? And I think going for their power-ups in the solos right away, they go kind of expensive. Not a bad idea to knock those out right when they come out on Saturday mornings because they're a little expensive right away. Um, also the sets, and I'll tell you, this is why we loophole, right? I, I didn't go over these things when it was in game, but I, I feel like I should. The reason why we loophole is these token exchanges. 40, 40 of them. Somebody kind of get out of like four months. Oh, God. Oh, God. Awful. Okay. So that's there. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, and I said this last week. Look at the sets. Snap was profitable when I calculated them out. Um, if not to, like, sell right away, it was profitable if you got some snipes and built them. But if you want Sap on your team, you want to look at the set and do the set because a lot of times it's cheaper because people will just list up cards to pull from backs without calculating out if they could just make them cheaper. So definitely take a look at that. Uh, those sets are very important for the market, for Legends. So a little bit of profit there in Legends, different ways. 
of course if you get low legend cards that, that helps out with the sets um getting like and i want to talk about like the nats right nats legends that's great for sets too like we talked about last week uh but always don't forget team builders are still here there's some team builders that still really do well especially if you got nat cards if you got nat cards out of any of the solos throwing them into team builders and creating them into and uh, those things and selling them it's not a bad idea that's a pretty solid way of making coins just by putting some golds and elites in here now i know those 80s overalls have gotten up to like 12k ish we could take a look at the training spreadsheet uh where you guys aren't seeing it but i am let me show you guys here in a second Take a look at the training spreadsheet here for the 80 overall. So those are kind of expensive. You know, it's not a bad idea. Not a bad thing when like pack odds and like more pack trash. Uh, sorry. When they're high price because of set value. I do love that. So that's a major thing to help drive a little bit of value to the market for those 80s, 81s overall. But that's how you can convert them into card, uh, hard cash, cold, cold, hard cash. Um, I definitely, it definitely looks like to me playbooks uniforms coaches definitely still worth looking at and profiting off those sets they don't look to be too bad still um gap pack method still seems to be hitting a little bit of course it depends on how much you're willing to buy but just like just like doing 20 gaps listing them all up on the marketplace and going to play in a game it's not a bad way it's not necessarily passive income but it's income between games so you can kind of like do that take a little break and then just get into the next game and then wait for them to sell then do it again so on and so forth but yeah, I mean, if you're looking at uh, these kind of stuff, it's not an awful profit because people go find their find the uniform, pay for it, you know, depending on what team you are. I don't know what's a Cowboys are popular. Uh, 5,200 coins, not maybe the greatest. Uh, if you're selling for 5,200 on profit wise, because I do believe it's five or oh, dolphins. Like you can find this stuff, 15k. That's profit right there doing Dolphins Uni. So definitely take a look at that. The uh, the exchanges and in the store training rerolls. Not a bad profit opportunity still right there. Um, it is crazy how long a lot of these things last in the game. Solo battles were out last week. I, I don't know if I have to tell you guys. These are pretty good income. I don't do them because I'm not a big solo guy. right? I, I, I prefer to jump in the pile with dudes and get it on. Uh, but solo battles, if you are more of a, a, a one on versus the computer, if you like fighting robots, there you go. You can fight them at their worst. Um, now, there's a lot of promos on the way, right? Based off traditional buy. And, and what we've seen out of Mutt this year is a lot of tradition. We've seen, you know, in maybe other modes is where they've kind of in, uh, innovative. I know that you, uh, we talked about the college football mode. EA basically confirmed the college football mode is coming on in its way to a game tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a second. I want to show you guys that. But I will say the, um, the, the promos to come, right, in the marketplace, you know, training could go up if we get some sweet, not necessarily flashbacks, right? Because we got flashbacks. We get heavyweights, veterans, rising stars here on Wednesday. Um, maybe they could do something new. Maybe they could do mystery boxes. But these kind of all mystery boxes if I think about it. Uh, but they could do a whole lot of things. And so there's a potential. Like I, I would, I don't think it's a bad idea to hold on to training and do them right away in the morning and sell them quickly and high. Uh, because it's definitely a way of arbitraging your training. Basically buying training low and then rolling these things, listing them high. Right, it's so like some people did with a 74 plus overall superstar player, and that might be over right now. I haven't done the math on that, but usually when the promos kind of like pass a few days, um, I like I talked about last week, Friday was a good time to do it when the market was hot, listing them up there by arbitraging your training. So you buy the cheat training, you then roll into this because these prices are are risen, and then you sell on the block, and you can make coins that way just by rolling over and over and over again. It's a great thing. It's 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 done us well for years now is this arbitrage so keep on keeping on with that there's plenty of ways to make a coins in this market right basically what i'm trying to lay out i've laid out what a half dozen things on how people are making coins in the game right now um so it's they like they really try and screw us on these rewards they really like we'll grind for hours and hours and hours to get 50 training as a reward and it's just mainly, mainly like ea's gone full wwe on us they're like poking us in the eye after we try and like you know get along with them right they do a heel turn on us and like it's just overall i'm not playing a wrestling game i'm not here to be betrayed and stabbed to the back by the rewards i'm trying to grind for right i feel like we're gonna do this more collaboratory but 
This is why we loophole for the rewards. This is why we work on methods. This is why we need to do it. We need to beat them. Uh, no money spent, low money spent, whale money spent. So even though I take a lot of L's, I try and bring you guys the W's with those L's that I take to basically give you guys lessons that I learned the hard way. So definitely look into that with the flash. I don't know what I'm on about flashbacks. So promos to come team of the week, Tuesday. Sometimes there's profits in those team of the week sets by putting golds into the sets. Not a bad idea to have some cheap golds going into those. Last year we got a decent team of the week set um, that, uh, and especially once like uh, later sets came. Remember, was that like week two team of the week set? Now maybe we don't get it initially, but later on in the year though, those team of the week sets could really do well because like I was like 82s or something went wild like wildly high price so it was actually really profitable to buy golds and exchange into that and then put it into set and yeah so team of the week could be on its way like i talked about veterans have a rising stars potentially limited times we see that on the auction house team diamonds i did a video on that check out that video please check out that video please check out that video please check out that video i've got three of my last four videos have been the worst video on my channel in the last 10 um so i i'm, I'm experiencing some existential dread about viewership numbers uh but uh that's live, but we got limited edition, so expect those on a Thursday, if not this Thursday, a Thursday soon. I would expect them to kind of get in the weekly uh, cadence here um, ASAP. Um, ultimate kickoff, maybe, is potentially coming. We don't know. I wish they'd tell us these things. Hopefully on GMM this week, they'll tell us about uh, what's to come, ultimate kickoff specifically, uh, those kind of things. Maybe Campus Heroes comes again with the campus thing tomorrow, right? Like, they're, they're bringing in these, like, flashback things. Watch it live tomorrow. Actually, I kind of want to look at this. This is, this is better, right? This is what we actually want to look at. Um, like, see how this is like, like the field? National champions, campus legends. Um, yeah, here we go. Do you see how this is college field? Like wide hash marks. It's in Superstar KO. But like, it could, they, they could kind of like bring it into mud a little bit with campus heroes to bring more theme into it. I doubt it. To be fair, I doubt that's going to happen. I think they're just going to focus all the, ga the game energy on uh, this mode for tomorrow. Uh, but it should be fun to play uh, college. It will be interesting to see what the playbooks look like if they're a little bit more unique, more like NCAA. But yeah, Superstar KO Campus Legends available tomorrow. We'll be streaming on it. Uh, so check us out on Twitch for that. I'll probably put some gameplay up on my second YouTube channel. Uh, but that's it for this video on Market Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are profiting. What are you guys doing? What are you guys grinding for? Uh, but that is it for this vid. Um... Yeah, please sub. We're going for 100K this year. We're going to try and make it. It's going to be hard. We're a long ways away. Uh, but, uh, you know, only fun times ahead for us. So, thanks for watching Call to Action. See you tomorrow.